Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to discuss about the relation between torque and angular momentum. In previous class, we have studied about the physical significance of the angular momentum, in which we have studied some new concept called aerial velocity, and we have seen that the linear momentum is equal to the twice of the linear momentum. Angular momentum is equal to the twice of the mass, twice of the product of the mass and aerial velocity. Right? This is angular momentum. Now we today discuss about the relation between torque and angular momentum. See, the angular momentum is defined as L is equal to R cross T. The angular momentum is defined as L is equal to R cross P. Now we differentiate with respect to time. Then del dl upon dt is equal to d upon dt R cross P. And uh, the derivative of cross product of two vector is as same as the derivative of the simple product of two variables that means d upon dt xy is equal to dx upon dt into y plus x into dy upon dt this is the derivative of two variables with respect to time in the same way here we derive we differentiate r cross p as like this right then del upon dt is del r upon del t cross p plus r into dp upon dt. Now, since we know that dr upon dt is the velocity and dp upon dt is equal to force applied on that particle, this is second law of Newton, second Newton's law of motion. Now, we put these values in this expression. Then, a rate of change of rate of change of angular momentum is equal to the v cross p here this is equal to v and this is equal to f v cross p plus r cross f since v and p are parallel vectors since we know that the direction of v and the direction of momentum we know that the direction of momentum is in the direction of the velocity that means v and p have the same direction suppose a particle is moving in this direction the velocity is in the direction of this then the linear momentum produced in this particle also have direction of v. That means two vector having same direction. Then we take the cross product of two vectors having same direction is equal to zero because the angle between the two vector having the same direction is equal to zero. Then b p sine zero. Then sine zero zero. That means product. The cross product of two vectors having the same direction is zero. That means v cross p is zero. Then the expression left as del dl upon dt. That means rate of change of angular momentum is equal to this is equal to zero. And r cross f. We know that the torque is equal to the r cross f. Torque is equal to the r cross f. Therefore, the torque of a particle is equal to the dl upon dt that means a rate of change of angular momentum of a particle is equal to the torque applied on that particles right this is our final expression ki torque barabar kya aa gaya torque barabar hota hai ki time rate of change of angular momentum is called the torque. This is another very very useful formula for the numerical problems purpose. So, ये हम हमने discuss कर लिया आज के video में. तो ये बहुत ही छोटा सा एक expression था. हम अगले video में देखेंगे कुछ दूसरे topics को. तो आज के video के लिए बस इतना ही. We will meet the next time. And for this. Thank you so much. Goodbye.